So have you thought about making YouTube your retirement side hustle? I'm about two months away from retiring. And last January of 2023, uh, I started my YouTube channel, which has uh, grown to about uh, 2,474 subscribers as of today. It's a relatively small channel. But the whole purpose of creating the channel was I wanted to see could I turn YouTube from a part-time side hustle into something that I could do during retirement? And when I started the channel, I wasn't even really sure whether I'd make a penny, right? It was just completely unknown whether I'd make any money whatsoever. And what I'm here to tell you is if you have some kind of talent and you're older, maybe you're going into retirement or you're already retired, and you'd like to make some extra money, you'd like to you know, earn enough to play maybe a few more rounds of golf each month, go out to dinner more often, take a better vacation, or you know, even put money aside for unexpected expenses, um, YouTube could be the side hustle that you're looking for. So what I'm gonna try and do is just go through some of the things that you might want to think about if you decide that you want to attempt to create a YouTube channel and make it your retirement side hustle. I'm almost 63 and you know there's just not a lot of older YouTubers. Uh, most of the time at least in the niches that I'm interested in the people are much younger so I think there's a real opportunity for um, older people to uh, become part of the YouTube community and offer their ex expertise and offer their guidance in different niches that they may uh, really know quite a few things about. And by virtue of your age, uh, you know, you can bring some different perspectives to the YouTube community and really have something to offer to people. If you don't know how YouTube works, um, you know, this, this, video would get very long if I went into everything in a step-by-step -step fashion. So if you're interested in having me uh, put together some other videos that would help uh, people that are closing in on retirement or retirees uh, understand the technology of YouTube and how to build a channel, um, I'm willing to do a series on that. So just let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. But in essence, uh, the YouTube platform, it's free to start your own channel. So you sign up for a YouTube account, you create a channel, you give it a name, uh, you, give, you put together some banner artwork, uh, and then you're set. Now you're ready to start uploading videos. So exactly what does that mean? Well, you have to find a niche. So let's go ahead and talk about what are the possible ideas uh, that you could have and use as a YouTube channel. So I think the best thing to do is to think about things that you enjoy doing. So, you know, maybe you're really into cooking or gardening or photography or you're into fly fishing. Um, you know, any kind of sport or activity where you have people coming to you and asking you questions about those activities, uh, right away that tells you um, that you could do a channel on something like that. That could be your niche. You just sort of have to find what your angle is. So for example, if you're a woodworker, uh, I don't know much about woodworking. In fact, I'm horrible with tools. I would love to watch a YouTube channel where somebody teaches me how to do simple woodworking projects with you know, easy to access tools, things that I could do with my grandsons to help them become better at using woodworking tools and learning how to do things with their hands instead of sitting and watching, um, video, you know, watching movies or, or playing video games all the time. Um, so here's a really good example. I live in a 55 and older community. And as I walk around the neighborhood, I see and talk to people that have some really interesting backgrounds. They have a lot of small business experience. They own their own businesses. There's an idea for a channel. How can you help younger entrepreneurs start their own small businesses and help them understand all of the pitfalls of a business and 
all of the pros of having your own business, that kind of thing. Uh, I go by this one house and there's a gentleman in my neighborhood who builds electric and gasoline powered RC cars. Now he's out there in his workshop every day <laughs> building these cars. And as I walk by, I think, you know, if you just threw up a light, grabbed your iPhone, turned it on record, and just talked through some of the different things that you're doing as you build these uh, gas-powered RC cars, as you build the electric RC cars. I mean, to me, it's really fascinating. And that's, that's what I mean by finding your niche. That could be a great YouTube channel that people would be interested in. And the difference in your channel is you're older. So A, you may attract an older audience who's thought about that hobby but never done it before. Or you could attract a younger audience that's brand new to, the, to that hobby, and they just need somebody to take their time explaining, you know, what it is to build a remote uh, RC car and the controllers, the batteries, the gas engines, the whole bit. So you see where I'm going with this. You just find this thing that you're good at, find this thing that you're really interested in, and then that's what you turn into a channel. So I'm just going to briefly talk about some technologies that you will have to become familiar with as you build your YouTube channel. You'll need a camera. Now, right now, this video is being recorded with an iPhone SE. It's a cheaper iPhone. It's about three years old. And truthfully, for a talking head video like I'm doing right now, it works just fine. And for most videos, it would work just fine. So you don't necessarily have to run out and buy an expensive camera uh, to do any kind of filming. You can just use your smartphone. That's a great way to get started and keep your costs down. Uh, the other piece of this, of course, is you need a computer. So, uh, you know, a laptop uh, with at least eight gigs of, of RAM would be good because you will have to do some video editing. And truthfully, I think that's going to be the biggest hurdle for most people is the video editing part. Uh, thankfully, there's lots of great tools out for video editing that are geared toward beginners. And the great thing about YouTube is almost all of these particular video editing software packages have tons and tons of tutorials that people have done. So I'm a self-taught video editor. I'm not great at it, but it's been more than good enough for me to kick off my channel, get it started, and actually make money with it. So now I want to talk to you about how would you make money with YouTube? What does that mean? If you have no idea about the way people make money on YouTube, let's get into the details here. So one thing people get stuck on when they start their channel is they're really wrapped up in getting a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And the reason those two numbers are important is that allows you to monetize your YouTube channel with ads. I will tell you that makes the smallest amount of money for me per month. It's, it's just a fraction of the overall money that I make is from, from ads. So don't get tied up into the thousand subscriber, 4,000 watch hours uh, syndrome and worry about that. That will come with time. It took me about eight months to get to the thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours before I got monetized with ads, but I was making money before that with affiliate sales. And I think for small channels, affiliate sales are going to be the most important thing that you want to focus on. So let's go back to my example of the person in my neighborhood who uh, is a hobbyist with uh, radio controlled cars. So if he did a video on radio controlled cars or does videos on radio controlled cars, you know, what he would want to do is join affiliate programs and point people to the products that he's featuring in his videos. That way, when somebody looks at the description of your YouTube video, they click on that link. If they make a purchase, um, because you're an affiliate for that product, you get a small commission. And so that's one way you can make money as a small channel before you ever hit 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 watch hours. Um, affiliate sales are the primary thing that I would turn to first for a small channel to make money. So let's say you're a gardener. 
there's all kinds of products and services that you purchase when you're doing gardening. You buy fertilizers, you buy, buy plant food, you buy pots, you buy uh, tools for gardening. All of those things could be sold through affiliate links in your video descriptions. And that's how you'd make money if you were somebody who had a gardening niche. If you're an artist and you're showing people how to paint, all the supplies surround it, surrounding uh, painting, that's, that's where you'd make your money. So you can see how that would work. You just have to find the right affiliate programs. Amazon is a very easy one to start off with and make affiliate sales that way. So one other way that YouTube channels make money is through brand deals. Typically brand deals happen as your channel gets larger, but there are plenty of small channels that do have brand deals. So if you're in a very specialized niche, if there is the uh, manufacturer of some product or maybe some service out there that applies to your niche, uh, sometimes you'll be approached and asked to do promotional type videos for their product and do what they call a sponsored video or sort of like a brand deal. So that that is one way to make money. But again, the lion's share of your money in the beginning would be through affiliate sales. So let's look at some examples of different YouTube channels uh, that could spark your interest and give you some ideas of some niches that you might want to delve into or just think about your hobbies and how they might work out as a YouTube channel based on what I'm about to show you. One channel that I really like is Camera Conspiracies. Now the person is not a retiree or an older person who uh, runs this channel, but the reason I like him is because he's really good at telling stories. He tells stories about cameras and camera equipment and the experiences that he has when he's using this equipment. And he's just a really funny guy. He's sort of like the Jerry Seinfeld of camera talk and camera geeking. And I really enjoy everything that he does on his channel. And I would suggest looking at camera conspiracies and watching a few of his videos to get a feel for the way he approaches his topic. Um, now, here's a really good example of somebody who has a really... Um, fairly large following, but when you look at his videos, they're very, very simple. He just has what's called an action cam, like a GoPro or some other type of action camera. It's, it's on his chest. He's got a camera, I think, mounted uh, uh, on his head somehow. And he goes to different creeks all over Wyoming and Montana, and he simply films himself catching fish using this form of fishing called Tenkara, which is this minimalist fly fishing uh, that has something that started in Japan, and that's where Tenkara comes from. And people love his videos, and they are about as simple as you can get. They'd be very easy to edit. And so this can give you an idea if you uh, are gardening or fishing or anything like that, you can look at the way that he creates his videos and think about how you could apply that to your niche and realize that you don't need two or three cameras running at once. I mean, you can do some simple edits, get your point across, tell your story, and help people along the way. And that's the most important part with your channel is always be transparent, uh, always be honest about what you know and don't know, and if your channel is a hobbyist channel or some other kind of instructional channel, um, you know, just tell people, hey, I'm not an expert in every piece of this niche that I'm talking about, but we're learning together. People appreciate that transparency. So another channel that I really love is Mike Murphy Company. He does tutorials for content creators, uh, and I would point you to him uh, if you decide to go down this path as a retiree side hustle, because he's got all kinds of excellent tutorials that you could use and learn about video editing. But he just does these simple two to five minute videos where he goes through and talks about different software that he uses. So, you know, maybe you have an IT background and you are a specialist in certain kind of, kinds of software. Um, 
this is something that you could consider doing. Uh, it's very uh, simple to do. Uh, and you can look at some of these videos from Mike Murphy Company and get an idea of how he does it. Now, here's my channel. Uh, I do tutorials uh, mainly on uh, topics that are around artificial intelligence tools for writing and search engine optimization and keyword research. Uh, I also talk about blogging and I'm slowly branching out into uh, talking about YouTube like I am today with this video. But I just have a variety of different videos. Uh, so far, my channel is 10 months old. I've got 88 videos. But you can see none of my videos are what you would call viral videos. They get normally anywhere between 350 uh, to some get as many as 6,000 views like this particular video. Claude.ai and Neuron Writer, 6,200 6, videos in the last, or 6,200 views in the last three months. But 6,200 views is not viral whatsoever. So uh, let's, let me just briefly tell you, I'm not going to go into the exact numbers, but let's just put it this way. My channel's making enough money now that um, I could easily... Uh, cover a car payment every month for a pretty nice car. So uh, that gives you an idea of the range that I'm in. I, I don't want to give you an exact number because, you know, I, I sell affiliate software subscriptions and, if, and software products and services, and it just varies from month to month. But generally, on average, uh, after about month, month six, um, you know, it would definitely have been enough for 10 or 12 rounds of golf a month at a, you know, decent golf course, uh, going out to dinner 10 or 12 times, that kind of thing. So again, not huge money, but life-changing enough that it could just make retirement a little more enjoyable for you. So you're not dipping into your 401k or your savings when you want to go do something fun you take the money from your YouTube channel and, and use that instead. Uh, again, this is my channel. Um, I've been uh, very happy with the success I've had with it so far. I really enjoy doing it because I feel like I'm helping people. I'm communicating with people on almost a daily basis, answering their questions the best that I can. And I'm very honest if I can't answer the question. I just say, you know, this isn't my field of expertise, but here are some resources that I think could help you. And you really start to build a community around your channel. And it's, you know, it's great. It's fun to do it. It makes you feel good when you help people out. It gives you purpose. And, you know, retirees need that. You need to think about retirement from a holistic perspective. It's more than just, did I make enough money to retire? It's, what am I going to do with my life after I retire? And having something to focus on and share things with people, I think that's really important. So let's get into a couple of other channels I want you to be aware of. One of these is Sarasota Tim. Now, I find this interesting because just, you know, he's just talking about his life as a retiree. Now, his angle is he's sort of into this minimalist type of retirement. So I believe that he lives in a trailer. That would not be for everybody, but it does make for fascinating content. And he talks, you know, about everything, you know, that he does in his daily life as a retiree. Now, he's got a couple videos or a series of videos on when to take Social Security that have really sort of uh, built his audience. Now, I should have had this ready to show you. I'm not sure which video it was, but he has a, a fairly lengthy video about uh, when he th when he thinks you should take your Social Security, and he's very adamant about doing it at 62 years old. Again, whether you take that ad advice is up to you. You need to talk about a financial advisor about that. But my point is, people really uh, enjoyed that. They identified with that video, and you know, it wasn't long before now he has 61,000 subscribers, 
And the interesting thing is, you know, simple videos like, you know, hey, my uh, trailer is now positioned in its permanent spot at my new uh, location, you know, 16,000 views because he's just got an engaged audience and they're interested in what he's doing as a retiree because it gives them ideas about what they might do. So another one that I want to point out to you is this channel. Uh, I came across it. It's called The New Retired Me. And again, it's more of a retirement lifestyle type uh, uh, channel. And I think there's plenty of room in this space for other people to talk about how they're living out their retirement. Uh, because I think people are anxious about retirement. They're not sure what they're going to do with their life. They may have, you know, issues around how much money they have and worries about that. Uh, what they're going to focus on when they have all this time on their hands. And this, guy, and this particular person just has a lot of good information. And what really made him go viral, I believe, was... Uh, a video that was about minimalism and cl basically cleaning out his closets and decluttering. And, and I just found it fascinating. And you can see that his videos have, you know, 10,000 views, 7,000 views. Here's one on how to cook a ribeye steak, 4.7 thousand views. Let's declutter a closet together, 18,000 views. So my point is, you can just start to go through and look at some of these and figure out what is your niche. And you can do the same thing that I did and, you know, turn YouTube into your retirement side hustle, something that you can do part-time and make some extra money along the way. So anyway, I hope this video has sparked some interest uh, in YouTube for you. Maybe you've been thinking about doing something with YouTube and just not sure. Uh, maybe what I've shared with you has pushed you to go out and give it a try. And again, minimal equipment. I have, uh, personally, I have about a couple hundred dollars worth of lights. I have a five-year-old MacBook Air laptop I use. I have my iPhone SE for video. Uh, and really, you know, one of the big sort of splurges for me was this Shure microphone, which I believe is about $205 but I've more than paid for all of the equipment that I use uh, for what I do with my videos. Um, if you're interested in having me do more videos about this and sort of break each, each thing down step by step, like setting up a channel, uh, monetizing, things like that, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll consider doing that if I get enough feedback that says, yep, that's what I wanna see. So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe, like, and until next time, take care.